Attention, freedom seekers. This is Mark with SafeDayTrading.org. Are you looking for freedom from your job, freedom from the establishment, freedom from government mandates? You can be in control of your financial freedom. We can teach you how to make $500 a day by spending just one hour a day. You pick the hour. Let us show you how to get there. We will prove it to you. Join us at SafeDayTrading.org. Hey everybody, today is uh, February 2nd. Boy, this this month, a couple of months have gone really fast. And it looks like uh, we continue our craziness with Reddit and uh, GameStop and Silver, uh, AMC. Uh, it's just kind of kind of building up again. Um, I don't think there's gonna, the new normal is craziness, I guess, huh? The Dow is up to... 30,600 continuing to climb. Oil, well, today when I was trading, broke $55 a barrel. Uh, right now it's a little under that, and I think it's going to continue up um, as we find out what's going to happen with our oil supply. <clears throat> Gold back down to 1841. You know, again, as the Dow goes up, oil, gold goes down. And so that's, you know, just kind of the way it is. Um, like I said, there's a lot of craziness going on right now in uh, the world. Um, Amazon and Alphabet have reported great earnings, and then also uh, Jeff Bezos has uh, resigned as a CEO. He's going to go with his other ventures here and continue on. Eh, good luck for them. I mean, he's got some, some interesting ventures, and see what happens. Um, a couple of things, a couple of uh, program notes is I have uh, over the next month, the next four weeks, I'm going to have, uh, I've been doing interviews with women traders, and I thought I'd kind of share those with you. They're, again, they're only about 20 minutes long. Uh, you can certainly do listen to those while you're shopping or taking care of the dog or taking a dog outside, driving to work or something like that. But I also have some interviews with some uh, some prominent people uh, talking about the uh, impact of the uh, GameStop mania that's been happening at, and the short squeeze. So um, I'm not sure when I'm going to do that, so if I'm going to do those during the week, um, maybe have uh, four of them, um, uh, maybe on a Tuesday and a Thursday, and then another Tuesday and Thursday. Not quite sure yet. I, I I think there's going to be continued visibility on the short squeeze issue, uh, and I may postpone that into March. But uh, hey, you know, if you've got uh, you know perspective on what you think I should do, drop me an email at mark at safedaytrading.org and and let me know. Um, and we're going to be looking to to do a lot of other things in terms of talking about issues that traders have. I have a series of inter a couple of interviews with uh, a psychologist and she's going to talk about greed and fear. Uh, we got a whole 20 minutes just on greed or on fear and then probably another 20 minutes on greed. Um, it's some interesting stuff as a trader. Uh, greed and fear are one of the things um, and then confidence is the third one. Those are really the uh, the uh, stool legs uh, of a good to help a good trader is you've got to be, you know, you got to overcome fear, you got to overcome greed, and you got to have a strong self confidence plan uh, for yourself. If you don't, then you know, then you can't pull the trigger most of the time, and uh, you know, you end up tra paper trading, and you could end up tra paper trading for a long time, and uh, you know, never pull the trigger. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, I'm looking forward to 2020. I think it's or 2021. Um, I think it's going to be maybe not, you know, we'll not have the pandemic, but I think there's going to be a lot of stuff coming back. You know, with all these retail traders coming in, um, there's a lot of pushback on the old old ways uh, uh, of trading, and there's a lot of comments coming out now about how the the markets may be uh, rigged. And uh, as that continues to discuss and more traders, more retail traders come in, um, there's going to have to be some changes, I think. 
I'm not sure if the government's ready to do it for the retail traders. They may want to do it just for the big boys. Uh, I hope not. I hope they uh, move stuff around for the, the little guy and the retail trader. Um, but, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a great, uh, great year, 2021. Um, please, if you had a chance, we have a free uh, training on safedaytrading.org. Join us, sign up for it, and you also get a chance, a free chance to come into our trading room and listen to us trade. Anyway, just kind of a short update about what's going on um, so that you guys know. And, uh, well, I think that's about it. Talk to you later. Hey everybody, I want to mention too that we have a YouTube site called Safe Day Trading, which we show you trades that we make with the techniques that we use. You can also send me uh, questions that you might have at mark at safedaytrading.org. Anyway, talk to you later.